Local PNG artists were introduced to a new style of painting when Betsy Eby arrived in PNG. Specialized in encaustic painting, which means to burn, Eby utilizes the technique of fusing together pigments, sap, and wax by the flame of a torch. Century BC, Greco Roman Egyptian times, and it's made of um, beeswax and something called damar resin and it's a tree sap from an Indonesian tree, a particular kind of tree. And I mix those together on a, uh, in heat. So I'll put them in a, hot, in a pot of, in a hot pot, put it in, um, expose it to extreme heat, liquefy it, and then I paint with this liquid wax. Although she was doing most of the teaching, she also learned a lot from the local artists as well. Ebby was blown away with the natural talent and their capacity to learn her techniques so quickly. Artists here have taken to the medium with such skill and vision and passion, really. She sees a big need for contemporary art exhibition space. Ebby says that it should not only be the responsibility of the government to push these initiatives, but also the private and corporate sectors. The poetry, artists, contemporary artists are, are, are the cultural heritage now. And when people come here to visit this country, say with APEC coming up, um, everyone will do their business and that's going to take care of itself. But at the end of the day, how do they want to get to know Papua New Guinea? They, they want to see it through the art and the beauty. And the, and, and the creative expression because artists are the prophets and the poets and they are sort of carrying the banner for this really unique and beautiful culture. After three days in PNG, Betsy Eby and her husband, Bo Bartlett, a realist artist, traveled to Honiara to run a similar program with the local artists there. Lilian Soperakinea, National MTV News.